We are here at uh, Great Seal State Park uh, to prepare for the COVID-19 pandemic Memorial Grove for Arbor Day, where the governor will be here to uh, dedicate these trees and this grove to, to those we've lost in, in the COVID-19 pandemic. Governor DeWine has entrusted in us the job of putting together this beautiful memorial and you know that is such an honor and and we're thrilled to be a part of it we're thrilled to take care of it for generations to come so we have quite a few species in the grove here uh, there's a, a section of white oak right over here to, to my left but then we've also added several other species that are native to the to the state as well as this region red buds uh, dogwoods we have other oaks northern red oak we have swamp white oak we have chinkapin oak we also have some sugar maple and red maple here I don't think they could have picked a better spot. We're standing in the seal. We're not looking at the seal. We're standing in the state seal. And it really touches your soul to be here and to be a group with uh, the people who have really made a difference for Ohio citizens. It's really, really kind of touches your heart. I hope it really becomes a symbol that if we all stick together, we can get through anything. You know, every generation has its challenges, and if we stick together and have good leadership and get through it, there will be a light at the end of the tunnel, and also we'll be able to watch some trees grow, too. I said, you know, this is a generation thing. This is going to be, I mean, so much uh, for those... First of all, for those people who died, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, for their, for their families, I mean, it means so much. I mean, I can remember pretty much every single one of them that I was so with them when they died. So this has been an, really an awesome, awesome things to have. They were born and raised here. Uh, they were great folks. Uh, you know, it's a little tough. Um, They were wonderful, you know, and, and supported me in, in every endeavor. Um, they had a wonderful life. It's unfortunate that it ended with this virus, but, you know, that's why we want to tell everybody, do what you need to do, get the vaccines, uh, take care of each other. This stuff's real. One, two, three. We felt it was appropriate to take a moment um, to honor those who have died, to remember them, uh, but also all those family members who are left behind, as well as everyone who has made sacrifices throughout this pandemic. The battle is still on and it's not over, but the end is in sight.